welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Cyberpunk 2077. My name is Camel and today I'm going to show you how you can get your hands on an iconic Maelstrom SMG called Fenrir. Now this thing will light up your day while you're lighting up your enemies. It's a fairly simple weapon but boy oh boy is it powerful and fun, raining fire like a Greek god sought on vengeance or I guess a Norse god in this case, but I'll explain more on the mythology later. What you do need to know though is, the burning ability of this weapon is extreme and great fun. It's really easy to get and there is a fun little side mission involved as well. Now you can get this right at the start of the game, in the first few hours of gameplay easily after finishing Act 1 with the heist mission. Which by the way, during that mission there is a hidden katana with a plus 500% crit damage that you can only get during that mission and I have a full guide for it so be sure not to miss that. Now if you are into this kind of stuff be sure to check out my other Cyberpunk 2077 videos, you can find them via the playlist down in the description along with checking out my social media links while you're down there as well. So let's get blazing, well before we can get blazing we actually need to get the weapon. So firstly, you'll need to have finished Act 1, which involves completing the heist mission. After doing this, the whole city will be unlocked for us to explore. Now again, you can easily complete this mission within the first few hours of gameplay. Now once the city is opened up for you, we need to come to Watson and near the north end of Watson is the docks. As we can see, it's right here on the map where V is standing at the moment. Now here, there is this kind of market area where on the side, we can find a monk kneeling, surrounded by candles and talking to himself. Or to God, or you know, he's just having a bit of a moment. Now I won't go into all the dialogue and quest details, but if you are interested, I'll put all of the mission dialogue at the end of the video for anyone, you know, who's keen on experiencing the full story. But the short of it is, talk to the monk and then he'll give us a mission to go and save his brother, who is being held hostage by Maelstrom members. Now on the map, we can see that we need to head just to the northwest of here. Now, because they are monks and all Zen, they ask us not to hurt anyone. But as far as I can tell, killing everyone or doing the mission non-lethally results in no major changes. It just has a slightly different dialogue at the end of the mission. So don't take that too seriously and do as you please. Now, if you do want to do this non-lethally, you can come around the back of the area and jump up some shipping containers to get inside from the back and choke everyone out or do it however you like. So once all the Maelstrom members have been dealt with, we need to find the monk that we came here to save and simply next to him, sitting on the table, is the iconic SMG that we came here for, Fenrir. So be sure to grab that. Now you actually don't need to head back to the other monk, Bhikkhu, or talk to this one either, who is also called Bhikkhu, which is strange, two monks having the same name, maybe it's just the type of monk they are, maybe one of you can tell me down in the comments what's going on there. So now that we have this bad boy Fenrir, let's take a quick look at its stats and then we'll check it out in use. Now when I picked it up, it had a DPS of 139.5 and a damage of 18 to 22 per shot, but it also does 6.9 attacks per second. Now this part is really important for this weapon's ability to scorch your enemies. It is also a power weapon, so bullets can ricochet off of surfaces, although I've never really found a good way to do that. But it has a plus 13 to 16 thermal damage, an 8% crit chance, a 13% burn chance, and 0.85 headshot multiplier. Now its iconic effect deals thermal damage with an increased chance to apply a burn. It also reduces bullet spread and increases bullet impact at the cost of higher recoil. And as we can see, the little flavor text there belches fire like a dragon with heartburn. And yes, yes it does. So, this thing is great to use, especially given how easy it is to get. You want to come and grab this straight away and probably carry it with you through most of your playthrough. And while its displayed stats don't look too crazy, in use it's a whole different beast. With no mods added and no perks in SMG damages, this thing still slew. Basically, every shot that lands on a target will apply a burning effect that is super powerful. Now a lot of weapons have a chance to apply an effect, a burning effect, a poison effect, whatever it is, and they will normally apply that effect at the rate or the percentage that it says they have the chance of doing. You know, like this one says 13% chance, but it just seems to apply a burning effect every single shot, and I think that's due to the iconic effect. While it doesn't say how much it increases the burn chance, uh, it seems to be 100%. So it's fast fire rate and perfect accuracy mixed with this seemingly always applying a burning effect to the enemy 
makes it a sharp shooting flamethrower machine gun. It's quite a title, but it seems to be an accurate one. Now this is great because you can duck your head out, spray the enemy, then duck back and just sit there while the enemies burn to death, while you simply, you know, chill around the corner in a protected area. And as you'll see throughout this footage, the orange damage text is all fire damage that my foes are taking that has been applied to them with this iconic burn effect. And as you can see, like I would shoot the enemy and get them to maybe half health and then just turn a corner and wait and they would burn to death slowly. Well, not too slowly, you know, they wouldn't instantly vaporize, but within a few seconds they'll burn to death. Again, because of this suspiciously overpowered iconic effect. Now, amazingly, this burning effect seems to stack as well. So if you make sure to hit your enemy every five seconds or so with Fenrir, the burning damage stack will just keep on growing and growing and growing. The damage applied by each burning effect adds on to the ones before it, provided they are still active on the enemy. And as you can see here, even with my low level character and a rare quality Fenrir and no perks in the appropriate places to make this weapon any better, against this boss, the burn damage stack was ticking for over 2000 damage. Now that is a lot of damage to be passively ticking away in the background. Like, it's a lot of damage. You might see videos of someone shooting someone with a gun in the head and doing 10k crit or whatever, and that's all well and good. But having some background damage ticking away for 2000 damage, that's pretty gnarly, especially considering my character is not kitted out at all to make this weapon better than it should be. With that said, if you were kitted out properly with an upgraded version of the weapon, a legendary version of the weapon, and the perks in the right places, I reckon you could burn through more life than Sydney's bushfires last Christmas, and that's a lot of life. Now, it is named after the monstrous wolf of Norse mythology, of the same name, Fenrir, who was the son of Loki and was bound eternally until Ragnarok, which is basically the Norse apocalypse. Now, during which he ate the Allfather Odin, and he also jumped up into the sky and swallowed the sun which is where I would imagine all of this raw godly firepower comes from. And if you do need to cool down after using this thing, just take it to the back of a wetland, to the Fen Rear. But before you do that, be sure to check it out in action. So overall, this gun is an absolute must-have. It's easy to get and has two types of firepower. So be sure to let me know your experiences using Fenrir and just how much damage you could pull and how much fun you had with it. And be sure to let me know if you have also found some other cool hidden legendary items or iconic items just like this one. Again, be sure to check out my other cyberpunk videos. You can find them in the playlist link down in the description. Now down there in the old description, you can also find all of my social media links. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you would like to support my channel in a more personal way, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon or a sponsor of my channel right here on YouTube with that little sponsor button. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy. So your support is genuinely most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So leave a like, subscribe, or do whatever you feel fitting. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting my channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon. But until then, here is the full playthrough of the mission with the dialogue. What? What have I done to deserve this? To fall victim to Hinsa? It itches. Should it itch? Why do I feel anything? It, it is nothing but I'm feeling metal. Calm down. <sighs> Forget your own soul. You must save his. Help! Someone please help me! Anyone! What happened? Your implants, they look half done. Done or not done? It is of no importance. A bhikkhu does not defile his body through cyber modification. It is against the Platimoksha. And yet, they knew about this. For me, there is no return. Hold on. Somebody forced you? Not just me. My brother, too. 
They drugged us, desecrated my body. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? How about your brother? He's still with them? Yes. I was first. Then they were trying to decide how, how to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please, help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like, like I have. Fine, I'll help. But just so you know, things might get ugly. Maelstrom doesn't mess around. There must be some other way. Help us, please, but without any bloodshed. I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting ill. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. A monk in distress. They should include this in your epic. What are you gonna do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead? Wish you'd drop dead. Against my police. Please, I do not want them. Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So, what are you doing here? What happened? I was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Now, but the truths that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. Thank you for coming to my rescue. But my life is not worth the death of others. One good deed does not justify the suffering you have sown. You have committed evil in its purest form. I liked your brother more. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First I must catch my breath. And then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Who knew monks were ungrateful little brats? Maybe you should apologize for saving this Gannic ass too. Tired of assholes saying there are good and bad people in this world. There are only good choices and shitty ones. Must have made a good one, because why else would Karma leave all this sweet gear just ripe for the picking? I like where you're going with this. <laughs> Do not do this! Implantations against my police. Please! I do not want them! Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So... What are you doing here? What happened? I was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Not with the truths that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. From the bottom of my soul, thank you. I'm especially grateful nobody was killed. May you continue on the path of peace. What compels these monsters is of no consequence. It is not up to us to judge what they deserve. Um, yeah, sure. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First, I must catch my breath, and then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Look who's taken the righteous path. If you're so afraid of killing, maybe you should have become a monk instead of a merc. Killing isn't the solution to everything. If you want to change the world, there's always a price to be paid. As for these chrome f***s, you think they got all this gear by sitting around going, um... If they had enough to spare on monks. And surely they don't need all of it. What happened? Did you find my brother? Of course I found him. He's safe and sound, just needs to catch his breath. Thank you. The universe will reward you for your good deeds. I... I should not give in to base emotions, but I feel such a great relief that he is unharmed. <laughs> 